What is up? It is another edition of the Daily Juice podcast with me, Matt Peralt, here on Betting Pros for YouTube, wherever you get your audio podcasts, and always being brought to you by BetMGM. It's over six consecutive losing days. It's over a winning day. We finally got a winning day. And to celebrate, we are doing everything. We're pulling out the McCallum 12 year. We've got that rolling today. I got sunglasses on today. I got a hat on today. We are back. Maybe. I don't know. It's one day. But damn, does it feel good not to lose money. <laughs> it was, whew. Could have had a 3-0 day. Parlay didn't hit. But baseball goes 2-0. How about that? Baseball gets us the win. We come out of it with a two and one mark and the six day losing streak is over. Does that mean we go hot? I don't know. My boy Dave Sherapin said that the win in the under for that Hawks game is what set us up. That things finally, the coin turned. Things flipped on that. Did it? I don't know. But I feel pretty good. We're going to celebrate. It's one day. It's one win. But it's a damn good day not to lose money here today. We'll take it. I bet on the Yankees. That's how effed up I was yesterday. I bet the Yankees. And the Yankees won 3-0 against the Blue Jays. I like that Brewers pick a lot. I like that. That was my favorite play of the day yesterday. That came in pretty easily. 4-0 lead after 5 for the Brewers. And then hockey. I like the hockey. I thought hockey was going to be a little 5-foot gimme putt. Nope. My Boston Bruins blow that. That sucked. But, you know, here we are. BetMGM is the Patel sponsor of this podcast. $10 offer to win $150 in any event. Use that promo code JUICE150 when you sign up for a new account at BetMGM. So I'm going to take the sunglasses off here for, for, for now. Man, these lights are bright. Just for now, right? Just, just to give us a little bit of a... They use these videos in different places, so I don't want to look, you know... We, we can go exaggeration in the beginning, but we got to look a little professional, right? Although the hat kind of is, yeah, the hat's the hat. It, it is what it is. All right, it's Friday. Welcome to Friday, one day to your weekend. It's the don't bet a parlay parlay day. I got that. Baseball. Two NBA bets we're going to jump into, okay? I'm going to add, I will live bet both of these NBA games, okay? Got to take a position. I'm going to live bet them both. Just FYI, okay? Maybe I'll make it a, 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 an official play. I don't know, but we're going to watch these games. It's a Friday night. It's a great time to watch two great basketball games go at it back-to-back -back in the NBA for the play-in. Perfectly done by the NBA. Games hopefully will be competitive, but I don't know if they're going to be competitive. So more on that. But first, let's go with the Don't Bet a Parlay Parlay. We are going for a three-leg AL East first five bet. Okay. We're going to start with the Boston Red Sox and their home opener today. Very similar to what we bet with the Brewers. We're going to come in here and bet on the Red Sox at home against the Minnesota Twins. It's a pick em in the first five for the Red Sox here on this Friday as Boston opens up Fenway Park. They've got an early start time, 11-10 Pacific time, 2-10 Eastern time. Joe Ryan going for the Twins. Nick Pavetta going for the Red Sox. I like Nick Pavetta in these spots, even though game one wasn't great for him against the Yankees. He pitched five and two thirds, gave up four earned runs, gave up a couple of home runs. One of the home runs that he hit, though, was a joke. I mean, he gave up was a joke, okay? Red Sox offense has been looking decent, winning 9-7 yesterday, and I don't want to mess with the bullpen, okay? Red Sox bullpen is just not one I'm going to rely upon here. We're going to open up Fenway Park here with the first five victory. Pick them. Red Sox minus 120 here. First five money line. Second bet. We're going to the Yankees on the road against the Baltimore Orioles. Yankees won 3-0 yesterday against the Blue Jays. They now head on down I-95 to Baltimore. Jordan Montgomery going up against Jordan Lyles here for the Orioles. 0-1 with a 9 ERA for Jordan Lyles up against Tampa in his first start. Five innings, seven hits, five earned runs, one home run, three walks. I think he gets hit hard by this Yankee lineup who's coming off of this split. Two games apiece to the uh, Toronto Blue Jays. And Jordan Montgomery, I think, will pitch well enough, even though he didn't, he wasn't great in his first outing. 
against the Red Sox, three and a third, four hits, three earned runs, had a couple of had four Ks in that game, but he got hit got hit line drive off of him. They kind of screwed him up a little bit and left him out. So he's he's okay. So he's going today. So we're going first five minus one run. Okay, we're betting the spread on the first five for the Yankees because I think they're going to tattoo Jordan Lyles. We're going to lay it at plus 100 even money on the Yankees minus a run. Okay, so they got to be leading by two. Otherwise, up by one, it's a push. Same with the Red Sox. If it's tied, it's a push. But up by two runs, we're good here. Yankees cover on the first five uh, uh, spread. And then finally, we're going to the Athletics against the Toronto Blue Jays who got shut out by the Yankees yesterday. The last time that happened, Yankees shut out the Blue Jays. They turned around, and Vlad Guerrero hit three home runs in the game, okay? Athletics coming in. Toronto back at home. I think this is the home opener for the Blue Jays. Let me see. Daunton Jeffries against Ross Stripling. Um, is this the home? No, they're two and one at home. Okay, so they haven't opened up Fenway Park yet. Or, or, or the Rod- Rogers Center, right, still? So we have Ross Stripling against Dalton Jeffries. You got two guys who get hit. Offenses that can erupt. A's can score. Blue Jays can score, obviously, obviously like we know. The over is five and a half runs in the first five. I think we're getting it. Okay? I think we're getting this offense to explode. I think we're going to see a lot of runs here. Over five and a half runs, so six runs at minus 105 through the first five. For these two teams, I am super excited to see what this Blue Jays offense does here to the A's and to this starting pitcher. I think they got a chance to put up a lot of runs here early in this game. It's a plus 615 bet, excuse me. Three legs, the parlay. Red Sox, first five, pick them. Taking the Red Sox to be leading. Yankees, minus one, first five against the Orioles. Even money and the over five and a half runs for the A's and the Blue Jays at minus 105. That is a three leg plus 615 parlay for us here. Early start time for the Red Sox. Okay. Early start, opening day, Fenway Park opener for Boston. First five here going for them with Nick Pavetta on the mount. There is your don't bet a parlay parlay. Okay. Bet number one, let's go to the Pelican. Well, no, let's start with it in order of the games are going to be played. Let's start with Atlanta and the Cleveland Cavaliers. This game is 7.30 tip time in Cleveland, Ohio. Atlanta, number was three. Now it's two. Total is 223. I lean under in this game, okay? I will probably be doing this with this game. I'm probably going to bet the under pre-flop and then see how low it gets down and then hopefully I'll get a slow start and then bet the over here with this one, okay? Same thing I did with Atlanta and Charlotte. I'm doing the same thing here, although I, you know, it was a higher number. It was 236 for Atlanta and Charlotte. We bet the under, came back and bet the over at 224 in-game. We'll do the same thing here with this one. 223, bet the under, hope for a slow start, get it down to like 210, bet the over, have a middle right there to go and play with, okay? In-game wagering is great. Take a position pre-game, let the game start slowly, jump in, go with the over, and you have two get you have a middle there, you know, the number falls 220 and you're good. Okay. The Atlanta Hawks on the road have not been good ATS. 14 and 27 on the road against the spread. Not good. Cleveland, 43, 36, and 4 overall this year. They're 27, 23, and 3 against the East. And they are 27, sorry, 22, 17, and 2 ATS at home. But in these games up against the Atlanta Hawks, let's just go through the matchup so far this season because Well, these playing games were already played very similarly to just like a regular season game. Like there's no like playoff intensity for whatever reason. Cleveland was laying eight and a half second game of the year. Sorry, Atlanta was laying eight and a half to Cleveland on the road. Second game of the year, lost by six, 0-1 ATS. But then things get interesting, okay? Cleveland, you don't see Cleveland all the way until you get down to the, well, how far down we go with this? It was down to uh, the 15th of February at home, laying two and a half points for Atlanta. They won the game by eight. Third matchup between these two teams, Atlanta came in laying six and a half. They won the game by 24 points at home. Next game, uh, we're missing one game against Cleveland. Where is that other game against Cleveland on the road? 
Uh, let's see that I'm missing for this one. Oh, there it is. They were on the road catching two points, one by three outright. They're three and one straight up against the Cleveland Cavaliers this year. And they are three and one ATS against Cleveland this season. The best player on the floor will be wearing an Atlanta Hawks uniform. Trey Young's the best player on the floor. No John Collins. I get it. That's a big injury. You don't like to see that at all. You would love to have John Collins out there playing. It would be huge for them, but he's out with a foot and he's not going to play. Jared Allen is questionable for this game. He might play. It looks like he may suit up, but how much will he play is questionable with a finger. That's not great. I didn't really love the way that Cleveland played in the play-in. I'm, I'm a little bit skeptical of where they're going to be here. They're catching nine and a half. They cover, but they were down so big. They backdoored it, but I mean, I don't know. I, I think Atlanta is the better team. They're three and one straight up. I'm going to lay the two points. Hawks minus two for a half a unit. Late game. Pelicans up against the Clippers. This is a hard game to bet, guys. Straight up, this is hard, okay? I don't really have a strong feeling on this, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a position pre, and I'm going to hope that we get a fast start out of New Orleans, and I can come back and I can take a position here with New Orleans and... You know, I can lay with the Clippers and I can lay with New Orleans and kind of see if we can get into kind of a middle situation between these two. I, you know, Clippers laying for, catching for, and try to come back if you need to to kind of get out of it. Here's the thing. Clippers 40, 42, and 1. At home, 20, 21. 20 and 21 ATS. Against the West, 26 and 27. 25 and 28 for New Orleans, 42, 40 and one overall. And on the road, they're 20 and 21. Clippers are here because they lost to Minnesota and they melted against Minnesota. Okay. They've got a game here up against New Orleans because they took care of business in their game against San Antonio, laying five, one by 10. Now, Memphis Golden State didn't play great. New Orleans up against the Clippers had a pretty good year. Laying four and a half in the first game, they won by 13, okay? Laying seven, or sorry, catching seven against the Clippers, they won by 19. Later on, laying three and a half, they won by 24, okay? So opened up 3-0 ATS and 3-0 straight up against the Clippers. Now, this is when the Clippers were bad, okay? They didn't have, didn't have Paul George, full compliment. When they had Paul George towards the end of the year, Catching two points, the Pelicans, they lost by 19. They got whipped, okay? Man, this is a hard game to bet. I'm not going to debate this is a hard game to bet. And also, if I do bet on the Clippers minus four on this, if I lay the four points for the Clippers, every if I win both bets, every favorite ATS covers except for one. Every home team wins straight up. I guess, well, I have Atlanta, so no, that would correct that. So that wouldn't happen. Everyone but one. Atlanta winning and covering on the road. I'm just going to bet the trend here. I don't love it, but I'm going to bet it. Clippers laying four. You might get three and a half. It was three and a half for a bit yesterday, but I'm going to lay the four here. Clippers to take care of business at home to knock out the New Orleans Pelicans. They aren't going to have Zion. I think with Paul George, I think with their ability defensively, toughness here New Orleans is playing really well it's not going to stun me and I'm going to bet this game in game if I got to get out of this bet I'll get out of this bet if I have to okay pre-flop I'm just taking the Clippers I'll lay the points but look at in game be be cognizant of it watch it if you got to punt on the bet you can punt on the bet in game is a perfect way of doing this when you don't feel phenomenal about it I think the point total is perfect at 215 and a half I think it's right where it needs to be from a total perspective. I really, I mean, I looked at this. I was like, do I want to bet the under in this game? I leaned toward betting toward the under in this game. Clippers one in four to the over over the last five games. And Clippers against the Western Conference, 22-30 and one. New Orleans against the Western Conference, 21 and 32. Okay, on the road, New Orleans 15 and 26. So like personally, I'll bet the under on this, 215 and a half, and I'll hope to get a low, slow start. And then go ahead and come back with like a you know 195, 200, something like that, and have a 15 point middle. Try to middle it again. Like that's how I'm going to play this game personally. But officially, I'll lay the four points. Clippers minus four for a half a unit.
Okay, so we've got three bets for you guys going here today. The don't bet a parlay parlay. Red Sox, first five, pick them at minus 120. Yankees, minus one, first five against the Orioles at even money. And we've got the over five and a half. Oh, that changed literally as we were talking. It changed at DraftKings to five. So you're, you're going to get five. Okay, so that's good. Take it. It changes it a little bit. It, it makes it a plus 600 parlay now, but it dropped to five runs. So people are betting the under there. That's good. So you, you get a better number. So now officially, you're going to get this at five. So let's recalibrate. Red Sox pick even. Uh, sorry, Red Sox got a pick. So it'll be winning. Money line minus 120. Yankees minus one. Even money against the Orioles. And over five for athletics in the Blue Jays. First five here for a plus 600 don't bet a parlay parlay hawks minus two half a unit half a unit going on the pellet on the clippers minus four for a half a unit as well good luck i'll be in the discord channel bettingpros.com slash chat type that into your browser that gets you in or the link is underneath me here on youtube come on in be a part of it congratulations let's go have a drink exciting times let's do it again Let's have a 2 0 day plus the parlay to hit here on a Friday. My name is Matt Peralt. Follow me on Twitter at Sports Talk Matt each and every morning. It's Dilly Juice Podcast. I was being brought to you by BetMGM.